the cruiser with us, just relaxing, taking nice and easy. Bethany's doing some rods. No one here. You're not getting anything. I've got one, but he doesn't belong to the cemetery. There's no one in the. There's no spirit in the cemetery at all. So the yeah, the one that you're picking up is just a local fella. He's from a car accident on the roundabout just down there. Oh, he's okay. A, yeah, the front the of the road. cemetery, there's a, a, there's main, a main road, road. and a, yeah, a roundabout, and Heather's picking up somebody from a car accident, yeah. which has got nothing to do with this cemetery whatsoever. No. He's a young guy, he came off a motorbike. And it's really strange because uh, usually Bethany's exceptional with the rods, and she's picking up nothing on the, the rods, rods whatsoever. Aren't, the rods are scanning, but they've only picked up this bloke and there's nothing here but other than him. Very strange, very strange. I spotted this cemetery on Google Maps last night so I thought we'd come out and have a bit of a look. We'll take a little bit of a wander through here. This cemetery is on the way to a little place called Dean or a little area called Dean in Victoria. <clears throat> Appears to be a lot of newer graves just in the beginning of it. We tend not to film the newer graves more for the respect of uh, the people, uh, the families that are still in the area. Um, it's just a, an ethical thing that we have in amongst the newer graves so there are some older ones uh, a couple dating back to the early 1900s and uh, just have a bit, of a bit of a look around don't really sense anything at all. It's a very very flat feeling. It's a bit of a family sort of thing going on here from the 1940s and 1950s. It's only a very, very tiny cemetery, this one. Standing right in the middle of it now. And as you can see, it's just a real small area. This one's a little bit substantial. I've noticed having a walk through here that there's some, uh, some family get togethers here. Thomas Ma accidentally killed, Joseph Ma accidentally killed, Paddy Ma, Mary S. Ma. just no great sensation in this uh, cemetery at all and it's very strange because most um, cemeteries that we go to we do you know tend to feel a few things see a few things spiritually pick up on a few things but it's just very very planned this one here is an interesting one you can't everything's faded though so I'm not too sure what the date is can't even read the date on it Not sure how old this cemetery is. A lot of these ones are still pretty recent. I mean, you know, we still consider the 1960s recent. It's a lovely little 
a statue. I'm not too sure what this is about. Oh, okay. It's supposedly the last top. And it's uh, very dirty and not well looked after. Um, some flowers, ornamental sort of flowers in there. And this uh, grave dates back to 1942. James Ralston, 1910, so we're getting a little bit of age there. A couple from the 1960s. And here's another one that we can't really make out. Of your charity, pray for the souls. Fat Forbes died in 1931. Mary E. Forbes died in 1945. Thomas Forbes died in 1961. Interesting headstone. The area where this cemetery is, it's a lovely country area, but don't get me wrong, the, the energy is so flat, it, it just can't feel anything here, can't sense anything. It might be a little bit different at night time, but perhaps because a lot of the graves here are pretty recent, you know, we're talking 1960s upwards up until now, and uh, there's, there's not a lot of older graves. There's nothing that we've seen that date back, dates back to the 1800s. Um, I think 1910 is probably about the earliest I've seen so far. We don't usually film the newer graves, but this one is particularly stunning. Um, this is in loving memory of Ignatius Patrick Duke. Born on the 10th of January 1933, Code Caven, Ireland. Entered eternal life 8th of December 1995. Loved husband of Maura Duke, Vaughan. Um, adored father of Margaret, Patrick, Loretta, Andy, and Sean. Rest in peace. This is so well done. We just had to film this one. As I said, we don't normally film manure graves, but this is absolutely stunning. And I can't say I've actually seen any graves in gold lettering. This is just beautiful. And the cross itself, that's phenomenal. It's a beautiful, it's got the Irish Celtic. Yeah, we've got the Celtic knot. This is your planet. This is the planet. Like planet. You've got the harp. harp. Mm -hmm. And what's that? This is a. You see them on the planet rings. It's a. Um, and it's an Irish. I think it's friendship, connection, family, love. Absolutely beautiful. Don't quote me on that. But then you've got your clovers as well. Really. Yeah, cool. the Irish clovers. Yeah, really lovely. And it's a Celtic cross. Really, really. I'm impressed with this, really well done. Really lovely. Obviously, Ignatius was very loved. Stunning. We were just saying this is the first cemetery that we've walked into that we actually don't feel anything don't see anything on the spiritual front which is really highly unusual because most places that we go to we do feel and sense a lot of stuff being mediums and absolutely nothing here there is some high tensile wires 
um, at the back and it's obviously it'd be creating a lot of EMF field um, maybe it's got something to do with it but you know pulling away the, the energy here but it's um you found this place on uh, Google Earth actually when I was just having a bit of a look around here to see what other cemeteries we haven't spotted and this is one here and uh yeah, it's. I, I feel peaceful here. It feels pe peaceful, but it feels like there's absolutely nothing here. And I, I feel like I shouldn't be here. For it's some like. Reason. Heather says she doesn't feel like she should be here, but for me personally, it's just. It's flat. There's just no energy. Very, very strange. We'll try a spirit box shortly. Okay, we've got the necrophonics happening at the moment. Beckett is having a go at the rods again, see if we can pick up anything. We just ask if there's any spirit in this area. Is there anyone who wants to talk to us? Can I, can I ask the ja young gentleman I was talking to the rods to come forward? Can you tell us your name? Bill. 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 Hi, Bill. How are you? Happy to talk to you. Did you live around here, Bill? What is meant? What is meant? Was. Bill, did you pass during a because of a car accident? Is that right? Or a motorbike accident? Yeah, yeah Beth's here. Would you like to talk to Beth? What would you like to tell us? Can you tell us why the energy is so flat here? Why is the energy so flat? Yeah, yeah. Does, does the power lines make it difficult for you to come through to people and talk? Is it the power lines behind us? It's kind of a group of them. I think them up there in the cemetery. People, people, people. How many people are here today? No, no, no. They're not in the cemetery, they're somewhere else. Are there people with us in the cemetery today? No. 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 That's what my rod said. What? So we've we found it very very quiet. Yeah. 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 So the person who's talking to us, are you just a local spirit? You just local? Did you live in the area? Top. Top. Are you from one of the farms around here? Can you tell us what you're doing here? Sleep. 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 Are you buried here? 
Really? That's not very nice. Fuck off and piss. Okay. Don't you like us here? Do you want us to go? There's a lot going on there, but I'm not too sure what it is. We'll have to check the audio. Do you want us to leave? If you want us to leave, cross the rods for yes and push them out for no. no. You don't want us to leave. Do you get many people here? No. No, don't get many visitors. Do you have family that come here to visit? No. Can you tell us your name on the speaker? Dean. We're very close to a town called Dean. Is your name Dean as well? That, that, that. You need to slow down and talk one at a time or we can't hear you. It's like you're talking over each other. Do you understand? One. One, one. one at a time, that's right, we can't hear you. Can one person step forward and just speak to us? Can you tell us your name? Ed, Ed, Ed. They're sort of, they're here, like I can pick them up now because they're all kind of pushing their energy together. Are you pulling, pushing your, like pulling your energy so that we can hear you? So they're all kind of making one big sort of connection, does that make sense? It's in a, it's in a ball, that's right. Have you ever had anybody come out to the cemetery to try to talk to you? You remember when my friend and I came out? We walked around the cruiser. Yes. You remember when we walked around? We didn't do anything, we just walked around. Dean. I've heard Dean a few times. Is there a gentleman called Dean? No. Is there a place called Dean? Dean. So did you live in the town called Dean? Yes. Yes, we've got a yes on the rods. Okay, did you work in a town called Dean? Yes. Did now you they... work on a farm? Yep, now they're getting it ahead. You worked the on the land. Did you work cattle? Yep. No, you've got to know. No, they've got to get Did you work? <laughs> did you work sheep? Did you have no. sheep? No. They had cattle. Did you have crops? Did you work crops? Trim, 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 trim. Can you tell us your name on the spirit box? I heard there was a bill. Is there anyone else? Dog. dog. Yeah, we've got our dog with us, Cruiser. No. No. Have, did you have a dog? Did you have a dog? No, the, the, uh, it's a little bit, yeah, it's confusing. No, it's trying, they're trying to pick, my rods are trying to pick up the issue. They had it really good and then they lost it again. Yep, yep, yep see? Yep. Yeah. 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 They're kind of pushing all their energy towards us. And they had it going really well, which made the rods. Rods, yeah. Rods. Do you like using the rods? Yes. Yeah. Do you find it easier than using anything else? Yeah. Yep. It's easier, I think that's Is your name Robert? Okay, I was picking up a Robert. Are you buried here? Yes. Could you show us where your grave is? You could. 
Now it's pretty interesting, we, we sort of find that, um, we're just talking to the spirit here, um, it seems like that the power lines that are behind us, I don't know if you can see it in the background there, um, are uh, causing a little bit of an issue in this cemetery. More towards the communication, or them being able to, you know, establish establish communication. Um, and I have found that before in uh, areas when we've done uh, went to do house cleansings and stuff like that. And there's been a lot of activity in houses, and um, I've actually found that uh, there's been some really really high power lines outside which tend to cause a lot of problems within the houses themselves and um yeah it has i've seen it happen before in a cemetery where there's been the energy has been pretty dead and it has been due to high power lines high tension power lines around in the area and uh yeah, we'll have a bit of a wander around. Robert Got Bethany you. with the rods, and we're looking for a Robert. Robert, are you with me? Yeah, okay, very weak. Robert on the rods. Very weak. Which way do I need to go to find Not your Not very brain? strong energy, but... Going this way? Okay, okay, we're going to follow the rods. Okay, Bethany's okay. going to use the rods okay. to see if we can find the grave of Robert. Oh, so, Robert, can you show us where your grave is? I'm going. You're going that way? So, do we go this way? I turn around. If we go this way. Okay. It's very weak. Very weak energy. And I All think right. if, we'll his grave is, if his grave is along here. Okay, it's we'll big, follow the it's rods. It's in front of the power line. Okay. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Hey, Robert. Ow. <laughs> Massive white noise in my ear. Ow. <laughs> oh, that hurt. You can actually hear the, oh. the um, Ow. energy vibrating from the power lines. Ow. So, Robert, can you show us where your grave is? Do we need to go straight? Just point in the direction. We'll follow you. Okay, come on. Okay, so we're going straight. Show us again which way your grave is. I think I know which one it is. Are you going that way? Okay. You can't actually get through there. No, but I think it's this one. We'll have to go around. It's that one. Alright, we'll head in that direction and we'll see if we can we can get a bit of a pick up. Robert, is it the grave I pointed to? Yes. Okay. He's that Good. interference is <clears throat> because I can't. He, he's trying to push through it and it's making me, giving me a hitting error. So we're going around to the other side where Robert's been indicating where his grave is. So we'll see if we can find Robert, can you, Robert. can you point it? You want us to go that way? Okay. Alright. Follow cruiser. Show us where you are. Show us with the rods. He's trying, but there's so much interference. So where were we to begin with? Um, Over there. A little bit further. My dear parents, Robert, are Nicholas and Joanna 
your mum and dad, your parents? Did you put... I've had a year on the rods. So they're your parents, Nicholas and Joanna. Because there's no last name, which is kind of unusual. It is actually. So one past... My dear parents, Nicholas and Joanna. Robert, do you have siblings that are living? No. No. Okay. The rods are showing now. Are you buried in with your parents? Robert, are you a child? Are you an, a baby, an infant? Well, it would have been marked. Not all of them are marked. Up. Well, if the baby was, it was still placed in a grave. Oh, the play, baby was placed in a grave. Yeah, would have been was, marked. If he was still born, he wouldn't have been because they didn't, they didn't get very still born. Can I, can I ask, okay. is Robert your middle name? Can you show us on the rods? Is Robert your middle name? No. Okay. I'm only asking because there was a Robert I passed by over here. Um, a John Robert Barr, which is over okay. here. Diff all different. This is a, a family grave here, and I noticed there was a, a Robert as a middle name. The grave that Bethany is standing in front of, are you connected to that? You are. Okay, thank you. So you're connected to this grave where it just says, My dear parents, Nicholas. Joanna. Died in 1956, and Joanna, who died in 1974, RIP. So, are these your parents? Can you show us some of the yes. Okay, thank you. You have living siblings? Yes. We send you lots of love and respect. The headstone's flickering. Do you? It's like it's it's there's a wave of energy across the headstone. It's moving. Just to ask you on the rods again. Do you? Visit your family still alive? No. Do you just hang around here? Okay. Can we do the spirit box again? Yeah. Just want to hook up the spirit box. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to sit on a little grassy patch, but this is not my grave. So that one in the middle of it. And so is this one here. By the looks of it, so we're not going to sit on a grassy patch. No, we'll just sit on the concrete. Just do a very quick I need to sit down. necrophonics. Once I sit down, I just want to ask a couple of quick questions. Start. Here we go, we've got the okay. necrophonics happening. Hang on, that's the wrong place. Okay, so Robert, are you still here with us? Can you speak through this speaker? Is Robert still with us? <laughs> Rob. Rob, okay, we got Rob. Where are you, Rob? Bob, Bob, Rob. Bob, Bob are you can. Bob, we got Bob and Rob, and we had a bill earlier. So can I ask you, can you tell me over the speaker, why are you still here? Um, um, Pass. Um, stuck. 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 I hear stuck. Are there 
there are lots of spirit that are stuck. You want us to stay? Yes. Stuck. 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 It's come up a few times now. Are the power lines making you stuck? No. Angus. 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 Hello, Angus. What's causing you to be stuck? What's holding no, you here? No, no. Have okay, yeah, I can't, I can't quite work that out. I'll have to listen to the playback, I think. No, no, no. What's causing you to stay here? Why are you stuck? Why, why can't you move forward? Why can't you move into the light? Spirit. 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 Is there a spirit holding you here? Dog. Yeah, dog's Do you getting like hot. The dog? Yeah, the dog's getting hot, so we're going to have to go very soon. He needs to sit in the shade, he's not well. The dog's ill. We have to put, we have to keep him cool. Would you like to come, us to come back again? Next time we come here, we'd like to try and help you cross over. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Next time we're going to bring some stuff with us and we're going to help you cross over. Yeah. Now they're, they're just pushing, throwing yeah, their yeah. energy at the rods. Yeah. It's easier. Beth. I think they're over excited. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so my name's Rick anyway. And this, yeah, you know Beth, if you've worked Beth out. So we'll come back here one day. It's a little bit cooler. And we'll bring Cruiser with us again. Would you like us to bring Cruiser? Yep. Yep. And we'll I'm just swing of, wildly. It's, uh, and we'll see if we can help you cross over. So we'll give you a little bit of time just to think about it. What, what we, yes. 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 What we mean by crossing over is crossing you over through the light so you can join your family that are waiting for you. And we'll help we you do back, that on yeah. our next trip. We'll come back. We might film it and we might not. We'll just see what happens, but we'll come back. No. Is there anything you'd like to tell us before we go? You, 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 uh, you, uh, we are what? Yeah, the energy's kind of weird. We'll have to check that on the audio, but you are something. Rods? <laughs> rods, yeah. Check rods, check rods. Check rods. We'll bring the rods with us next time too. We'd just like to thank you for speaking with us. We wish you lots of love, lots of blessings. Don't go. Don't go. 
we need to go, unfortunately, because uh, Cruiser needs to get back. Cruiser's not well, he's, Cruiser's he's not quite well, sick. So he's just on a very short trip with us. Then, then sick, yes. Yeah, he's sick, and he needs to get back Cruiser in the car and have a drink. Yes. <laughs> needs to get him some water. Drink, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for talking to us. We'll talk to you soon, and thank we'll talk you. talk to you soon. And we'll come back and we'll see if we can give you some help. Bless you with lots of love and light. And we'll come with great respect. Okay, see you later. Bye. It's unusual that Ray doesn't have any first and last names. Yeah, absolutely. It was a strange grave. There's no surname on the grave at all. It's also interesting that um, when we first come here, we sort of felt absolutely nothing, and then the energy sort of built up a bit um, once we started reaching out. And um, we do th think that the uh, the uh, big uh, power cables, power lines are causing a little bit of an issue here as well with communication. Um, but it was interesting, we started getting a few things anyway, and um, it seems like there are some spirit here, and uh, unfortunately we have to leave now, but we will come back and uh, do a little bit of a, do a little bit of a crossing over to try and help a few spirit. It's um, certainly, proved to be a bit of an interesting cemetery from a very flat place to a place that um, they started building up a little bit of the energy and sometimes it happens like that it just needs to take a little bit of time to build up and uh, yeah we'll come back to this one it's very interesting I just found this one on Google Earth and uh, ever said she'd been here before <laughs> but um, yeah, very interesting, nice little country area too. But anyway, we'll sign off for now. So uh, keep it real, get out there in the paranormaling field because you know it would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quite interesting. Um, we're back in the car now, and Cruz is in the back seat. Huffing and puffing. Huffing and puffing a little bit. We've just had a little bit of water, yeah. which is sort of helping him because it's quite warm out there today. And um, yeah, it's just a, when we first come here, it was just very, very dead. Um, no energy whatsoever. Wasn't picking up on anything. And then a little bit later on, things started building up, which sometimes that's just the way it is. And um, yeah, I'm just having a bit of a look at the cemetery at the moment on the outside it's only very small but certainly uh, it built up a little bit and we started getting a couple of little things on the rods and hopefully a little bit on the spirit box we'll go through the footage and um, check it out and uh, we'll be back and we'll do a crossing over a um, little ceremony type of thing a mountain bike coming past us so it's a bit of a country area and uh yeah we'll be back all right cheers thanks for watching get out there in the paranormal field go out there exploring get out there in nature because you know it makes sense you dag you know, you, you know you know it makes sense you're dag you dag <laughs>